is up, Skylar9604 here, and today I'm going to be doing a video about how to get rid of Land School. Now, what is Land School? Land School is a program that teachers can see what the students are doing on their computer, and basically how it works is the students have the student version installed on their computer, and the teachers have the teacher version installed on their computer. So, this is what it looked like when I was all done doing this and installed teacher, which I'll show you all how to do in another video. So, let's get started hacking it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is find a flash drive. In this case, I'm just going to be using the one that's 4 gigabytes. Uh, more space is recommended, but this will work. Okay, so after you've found a flash drive, you're going to want to head over to the link that's in the description and click on Download Lily. Alright, so once the installer's done, you're going to want to run it and then um, insert your flash drive, then launch the application, and choose your flash drive from the drop-down list. Alright, so now you're going to want to uh, click on download on the right and select whatever distribution of Linux you want from this drop down list. Um, if y'all want this to be really easy, I choose Lubuntu 14.04 Trusty Tar LXDE because that's the one I'm going to be using. Alright, now it should ask you if you want to download it manually or automatically. You're going to want to select automatically. Now a file browser should pop up, and you're going to want to choose a directory to save the ISO file in. In my case, I just created a directory called Landschool Hack on my desktop, and clicked OK. So now you're going to need some patience, because this could take anywhere from 10 minutes to even a few hours. Once it's done, you should get a message that says verifying is OK. This basically means that it has been tested before to run on a live USB. After that, it's going to ask you for persistence. Um, what persistence is, is basically how much space is dedicated on the flash drive for you to store things. So since I only have a 4 gigabyte flash drive, I'm only going to choose 1,260 MB. But if you have a bigger one, I'd recommend using all of it. Okay, so the last step before we format the drive with your ISO file is to select Format This Key in FAT32. This will, however, erase all your data, but it's necessary in order to create a functional live CD. Alright, so now you're going to want to click on the lightning bolt. Um, it should ask you if you're sure you want to erase it, just click OK, um, and it'll start creating this. This could take anywhere, again, from like 10 minutes to like a few hours. So while it's doing that, you're going to want to head over to Google. And you're going to want to type in your computer's um, model slash make. Um, in this case, mine is uh, Dell Inspiron 1501. So I'm going to type Dell Inspiron 1501, and then you're going to type boot menu key. Now, what this will do is it'll show you the key that you need to press on your computer in order to boot from the USB. If you already know this, you can skip this step. But, I mean, I did, but I'm just demonstrating. So, uh, I found uh, one that says Inspiron 1501 won't boot up, and that looks like it contains a boot key. So, we're going to wait a moment for that to load. And it looks like the specific key for my computer is F12. So, once you know that, you're going to want to go ahead and go back to your computer. So once it's done, a uh, web page will probably pop up uh, telling you that it's done, and also in the Linux Live USB Creator, it'll tell you at the bottom that your Linux Live key is now up and ready. So now you're going to want to go over to the computer that you want to perform the LAN school hack on, and while the computer's turning on, you're going to want to constantly press the boot menu key. Now you should get something like this, so you're going to want to choose USB storage or flash drive or whatever it's under on your computer. So once that loads, it should ask you for a language, um, and I guess since you're watching this video, you probably speak or at least understand English, so press enter. So now it should bring you to a screen that looks somewhat like this. Um, you're going to have a few options. In my case, I chose persistent mode because it allows me to store things on the flash drive, not just have it run as an operating system. But if that's not there, you may want to choose live mode, or try without installing, or something like that. And then you're going to want to press enter. So you might see a screen like this before it boots into the interface. This is because your computer is loading up all the video card drivers and things it needs before it can load a GUI. But um, yeah, this should go away after 10 to 30 minutes. Alright, so now you're going to want to launch your file manager. In my case, I access it by clicking on Start, going up to Accessories, and then clicking on File Manager. 
So once that's open, you're going to want to go over to your uh, computer's hard drive, um, which is normally named the amount of gigabytes it is, after, um, followed by volume. And then you're going to want to click on Program Files, which is where Land School is normally stored. And right-click Land School, click on Move to Trash, and then click Yes. I mean, why not? And then you're going to go over to the left sidebar and right-click Trash Can and click on Empty Trash Can. And then click yes, of course. Now you're going to want to press the start button again and click on run. And you're going to want to type this exactly how it follows. sudo shutdown dash h now. This will basically tell your computer to shut down. So once it's shut down, you're going to want to boot up into Windows and log on to your user account. Once you're logged on, you'll notice in the system tray that land school is not there anymore. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And press enter.